still on lockdown sensory and here's Les Daves, amazing. And he's going to talk to us about special ed and mathematics. All children's ideas have roots in sensory play. Even before they talk, children start to develop ideas that will become mathematical. They experience repeating sequences. They start to remember and expect outcomes. They even show surprise when it's not what they expected. But many children with special needs need help learning how to use these skills of sensory play. Jerome Bruner, the great psychologist, wrote a lot about the importance of peekaboo in children's cognitive development. It starts with facial recognition, but goes on to other things. And the thing is that it connects their memory with understanding about consequences. One related idea is object permanence. Hiding and revealing starts the same cognitive processes as peekaboo. Just like Now you see it, now you don't. Where's it gone? Is it still there? Another one, here you go. How many? How many do you think in there? What do you expect when I tip them out? When things are not as children anticipated, they react and problem solving thinking may be provoked. Learning happens when they explore and adapt ideas. It happens in every kind of circumstance. So look for sensory engagement in every kind of activity. Things that challenge children to make and modify their ideas. This can be in practical activities, in care routines, in games, in therapy, in massage. Here you go! Okay, ready? Wow. Ready? So, teaching ways that engage children. Enjoy your playful interaction. But most of all, talk about what's happening.